having a good time out there. Yeah. Welcome to episode three from chapter nine. And in this episode, we're going to cover the first step of cellular respiration called glycolysis. And remember, this is the only step that occurs in the cytoplasm. The other two steps will occur inside the mitochondria. All right. Now, I want you to remember about cellular respiration, this number, two, 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 because that's really going to help you understand the steps. Okay. But first, I want to tell you what um, glycolysis means in plain English, right? This word glyco, that refers to glucose. And you may have remembered from chapter, from chapter two where we talk about glycogen, which is animal starch. Glycogen is made out of just a long chain of glucose molecules. So for us, we're gonna to refer to glyco as glucose. And we've learned before in some of our screencasts that lysis means to break, okay? So basically what glycolysis means is breaking glucose in half. Now when you break glucose in half, you're going to get three products. And that's where the two, two, and two come from. All right. The number one thing you're going to get out of this, or I'm actually one of the main things you're going to get out of this, is ATP. You're going to get just two, but that's important because that ATP can be used to uh, power some of the cell's um, stuff. Now what you're going to get here and this is really important, is NADH. Now remember, NADH is an electron carrier. Now if you can remember back from photosynthesis, we had an NADPH. There's no P here because it's not photosynthesis. So in cellular respiration, you just have NAD. NAD and NAD plus, or NAD, I'm sorry, I'm rephrasing this again. NADH and NADPH, they're cousins but the P1 is only used in photosynthesis. So remember, P for photosynthesis. So no P here, this is not used in photosynthesis. All right, these uh, higher energy electrons that are carried by NADH, they're gonna be used by the electron transport system. All right, and then finally, the third of the R2s is two pyruvic acid molecules. Now, pyruvic acid can also be called pyruvate. So pyruvate and pyruvic acid, they're the same thing. I like to say pyruvate because that's one less word to say, okay? And this will move on to the Krebs cycle, all right? Now, make sure that you make a note that I need to know this graphic and that I'm going to study it, all right? And really, if you can count to six and divide by two, you're going to get this process. All right, glucose, if you can remember, it's C6H12O6. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons here. And the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna break it in half into two, three carbon compounds. One, two, three, one, two, three. And when you do that, that takes two ATP. So here we have to spend two ATP to break this guy. Now, what we're gonna do in the next step is we're gonna take these compounds and we're going to rearrange them. You're going to move the carbons around and put them in different places. Think of kind of like a shell game. And when we do that, we're going to get four ATP. All right. So this will be our revenue. We're using like business terms. Okay. And one of the also things we get out of here is NADH. Now remember, these are high energy electrons and they're going to go to the electron transport chain where it's going to produce even more ATP. And then this pyruvic acid, also known as pyruvate, is going to go to the Krebs. All right, so let's go back here to uh, spending and then getting some revenue. All right, so if we take our revenue, this is just business terms again, and we're going to subtract our costs or overhead, that's what this would be, that's going to equal your profit or sometimes it's referred to as net income, all right? So our revenue, let's pick a different color here. Let's go with blue. Our revenue was four ATP. Subtracting our overhead cost, which was two ATP. And so our profit would be two ATP molecules. And that's where this comes from. We have a net gain of two ATP, all right? So 
This will end our episode here on glycolysis. Very short, very sweet, but very important. Uh, everything that I wrote on the screen, you better have written in your notes or you're not going to do well on this test. Okay? Until the next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.